All right, so we have a HP laptop here, Entertainment Edition. It was uh, brought in. Um, we can see that it has uh, quite a bit of water damage there. A uh, guy said that his roof actually caved in on it. So um, first thing we can tell is that the unit is still getting um, charge light from the power adapter. The power adapter is plugged in and it's getting power. So we know the motherboard functions to a certain level we'll turn it on and we see that the um, lights turn on get power uh, get the uh, charging light but we don't get the hard drive um, nor do we through HDMI give video uh, syncing so we'll just take and unplug this plug it in we still don't get it to sync. We'll do uh, control or FN F4. It's usually uh, for the screen. We don't get anything. We'll close the lid. Usually that'll sync to it. And we still get nothing. So uh, what we're going to do is take this apart and see what uh, more we find in it and then go from there. All right, so this is a very uh, quick video right here. Um, just the display that the system, after we got done cleaning and reflowing everything, we're going to uh, push the power button and see what happens. Um, we see the light on the side here still. I'm gonna push the power button. We see the power light. We hear the fans. We see the uh, initialization from the caps lock see the other lights signify boot up so uh, in a quick test here we see that the system is actually turning on now so uh, we're going to do a little bit further testing we're going to actually hook it up to the external here and see what happens uh, here in a second it plugged in here uh, got everything hooked up the way it's supposed to be so let's turn it on and see what happens got our fans And we have uh, system startup it says they can detect the uh, the wireless adapter. Of course, it's going to say press enter to uh, go for that. But we do have a startup here, and it's on external display. So we'll have to see if it does it on an internal display as far as uh, whether it works or not. What? We can replicate this simply by plugging back in, turning it back on. We have fans again. See that we have display. And we do. So we know that the uh, external display, cheap, the Northridge and Southridge have actually been fixed. Now we have to uh, go and see if the uh, internal display is working or not okay so we have everything uh, plugged in screens plugged in so we're just gonna push the power button here turn it on here the fans let's see if we get a display which we do and it's the same exact display is on the uh, screen out there so we know that the internal display works. We know the system's up and running fine now. Now we can put it back together and go from there.